Hello, this is David Birch at Star Path School of Navigation in Seattle with a note on OpenCPN, a very specific uh, short note to answer questions that have come up in uh, come up several times, and I'm going to have a try a new policy of covering uh, less material, less features in uh, per video, and maybe. Uh, stay a little more focused that way. So the question here is how do you show the position of the cursor uh, so the position of the cursor in OpenCPN and I'm not sure which ones they were referring to but I have there's a couple ways to do that. The first way I think is uh, standard. I, I think it comes default that way but I'm not entirely sure but that is down here. This is called the status bar down here and if you see the as I move the cursor around that is the latitude and longitude of, of the cursor uh, right down there. Now if you don't see it down here and this is small print if you don't see it or you don't see the status bar then you go up here to settings um, user interface show status bar. See I have it turned on. So if I turn that off okay it's off now you don't see anything here. So if that's what you see in other words, that was you don't see. Then you come up here, turn this on, go to show status bar, and OK. So that's uh, that's a standard way, and that's showing. By the way, notice that that's showing it the the latitude and longitude of the cursor in degrees and decimal minutes. That is a setting that's done here under display, under units, uh, degrees and decimal minutes, decimal minutes here, and you have these choices like that. I'll come back to that shortly. Okay, the other way you can do it is use a built-in plugin that comes with uh, every version of the program and that's this icon here and I as okay so let's that's showing here but now let's go back to the wrench go back to the wrench and go to plugins and I think if you disable that I'm not sure what the default is on or off but let me disable it for now and apply and then come back apply OK and then yeah so see that icon that icon up here is gone so let's just start from scratch just say it's not there I'm not sure what default is so you go to the wrench you go to the plugins you go to the thing called dashboard and first of all enable it and say apply okay and I don't think we have to do well okay this is what you can get a different way once that plugins showing but okay cancel that okay now now you have this icon up here which is this is very valuable this is a main working tool of the program so you click that one oh I've got these already set so I gotta undo those I'm gonna hide those so you don't see them yet okay so you go here and you click so nothing's showing so you go click this icon oh they're gonna be there all the time okay that's no good right click preferences okay let me get rid of that okay so here's what you do you can either here's the screen we need right here and you can get that two ways you can get you can either just right if one pops up you can right you can uh, maybe right click here and then say uh, pref uh, properties or preferences and get this screen cancel or you can also get to that I have a bunch of those set or you can go here to the wrench go to plugins and then hit preferences and that'll pop up this same window here like that so once you get this window open for the dashboard then let's the, I have a bunch of these set for various things you can define them different ways but let's just say from scratch I want one these are ones I made I don't think any of these came with the program you, you make these on your own so now I hit plus and so that's a new one now I click this one I'm going to give it a name I'm going to call it cursor C U R S O R position cursor position and now that's the name of what it is but I don't say what's in there now you say add and you go down the list of the things you can all the things you can put there and find one called cursor cursor right here and um, by the way in this system these are digital these are digital things you're putting in this this pop-up window and these are graphic th these little circles like this are graphic analog digital so there's cursor okay and that's cursor and then I think that's everything uh, that's everything so there here now is that window over here we can close this 
And so here is now the cursor position. So this is what I think I may have had set somewhere in one of the earlier videos and people saw that and they wondered how did, uh, how did that get made. Well, that's how that gets made. Here, and then that's all I want to say, except for one subtlety, and then maybe uh, someone can feed back with some uh, input on that. But notice this is in uh, degrees. These two are going to be the same. If you look at the number over here and the number down here, those are going to be the same, obviously, as a cursor position. This one's just easier to see. Now, however, this is in degrees, degrees, and decimal minutes. For a lot of applications, well, for some, let's just say, for some applications, it's often useful to work in decimal degrees. And here is what, here's what I'm asking for feedback from other people. If I go in here now and go to display units and change this to degrees, decimal degrees, I want decimal degrees and say OK. Now, I do get decimal degrees down here. This is 29.50 something. And if you look up there on the right, you see that's 2930. But I don't know how, maybe somebody knows, I don't know how to make this turn into decimal degrees in this window. I can make this decimal degrees, but this is so far just that. So that's the end of that. That's a, uh, and a question, someone in the comments can say, well, here's how you do that. I don't know how to do it to make that decimal degrees. That's the end of this.